Hey guys, so I'm really excited about making this video for you. Uh, yesterday I went to a yard sale early yesterday morning and I picked up a really cool, uh, awesome World War II grouping. And I'm telling you, I've got a table full of stuff and I actually had to bring my coffee table over so I can put more of the stuff out because there was no way it was all going to fit on this table. Great score, great grouping and everything. And, uh, you know, there's also a chance that I'll be able to pick up some other items, you know, um, from this veteran, uh, you know, from his uh, estate and everything, if more is located and found. So, fingers crossed, I'll be contacted again to be able to pick up, you know, other items to continue to add to this grouping. Uh, I'm, I'm almost shaking. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to make this video since yesterday. It's just taking some time to plan it and everything, but... Uh, I can't wait to bring you in. You guys are going to be blown away. This is amazing. So let's go. All right. So you guys are seriously about to have your minds blown. This is amazing. Check this out. I'll kind of pan the table here and then I'll kind of tell you a little bit about at least little information you know that I have about you know these items and uh, this veteran here really excited to tell you guys I'm almost shaking holding my phone here with my camera and everything and I mean it is just amazing really really awesome grouping here I'm so thankful to have the opportunity you know to pick this up and keep it all together and everything give it a good home I actually had to bring my coffee table over because I'm telling you, I just did not have enough room for everything just on my regular table. So I'll tell you how this all started. So Friday night, I was laying in bed and um, I was looking online, saw there was a yard sale advertised and there was, you know, a few pictures or so in there, but in the description it said world war ii items and i was like hey you know that might be something i'd be interested in of course you know because i collect this stuff so i got there um i thought it would start i guess i, I was thinking it started maybe at six it actually didn't start uh, it was listed as starting at seven and i got there just a few minutes before six and i was the first vehicle there you know and I, um I, you know i just waited my vehicle and uh over time you know a few other vehicles um, you know started pulling up and stuff everybody kind of waiting and uh, the homeowner came out I would say it was around maybe 635 640 and um, another man had already gotten out and was kind of looking at stuff and uh, I just kind of stepped out of my vehicle and started walking that way and just asked the homeowner I said you know I, I, I just saw it was seven o'clock when you were supposed to start is it okay to go ahead and you know start looking and he said sure you know so I immediately I didn't even look at anything that was there I kind of panned it with my eyes and everything, and I asked the man, I said, hey, last night I saw in the description it mentioned World War II items, and none of this was out there at all. There was a lot of stuff for sale. None of this was out there, and the man was like, you know, yeah, let me get my wife. We'll start bringing the stuff out, and so, I mean, they just started bringing stuff, this stuff out, and I just started kind of sorting through as much as I could, and uh, there was no way to be able to see exactly what all was in there. Um because, you know, some stuff was in boxes and just kind of stacked together and everything and envelopes and, you know, Ziploc bags and different things. And, um, you know, I was just asking them, if, you know, if they had any other items and stuff. And they were going through uh, this man's, basically, I guess his estate. They came into possession of a lot of his stuff. And um, I can't remember the actual connection they are to his family, maybe a distant relative or something. But, um... You know, I was talking to him about, you know, I like to collect old military stuff. And, uh, you know, I like, I like to keep stuff together. And they said that they were still going through a lot of his things. They said he was him, and I believe his wife, they were the type of, I guess, people that wanted to hang on to everything. You know, they didn't just throw stuff away. They wanted to keep everything, hang on to it and everything. And um, they said they, they still have, you know, some stuff of his to go through. And um, so I found out what I'll tell you about this man. His name is Murray Arthur Doran. And he was born September 2nd, 1917, and he passed away on November 22nd, 1988. And so he was 71 years old when he passed away. Um, 
you know, I have an Ancestry account, and uh, I was looking at different sites yesterday trying to find out some more information about this man. I found out just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, he's actually buried, uh, you know, probably about 30 or 40 minutes from where I live. And, um, I, you know, I know the area very well. He actually passed away three days before my grandfather did. My grandfather passed away November 25th, 1988, at the age of 59. He was a Korean War veteran. But uh, from what I was told, this man right here, uh, Mr. Doran, he served over 30 years in the military. Uh, he was in World War II and, you know, the 50s and 60s, you know, Korea and Vietnam era. And, um, you know, kind of looking through everything, I came across this newspaper article that I assume he kept for himself. And that's him right there, Major Doran. And uh, it mentions war heroes, and it talks about this Sergeant Morton at the beginning of this column and then over here it picks up mr doran he was a bombardier let me set it down bombardier navigator with the chinese american composite wing in 52 missions over china he earned the distinguished flying cross and the air medal with a cluster and then shrapnel in his leg and arm it says also won him a purple heart but didn't keep him out of flying duty so I'm not sure if he received, you know, the, the wounds the same uh, the same day or, you know, or incident when he got shrapnel on his arm or leg or if it was two separate incidences. But, you know, that did kind of give me some information about him, uh, a little bit anyways. And I'm, I'm still hoping to get maybe his discharge papers and dog tags and other stuff that's not represented here and can kind of help piece together, you know, uh, the story of his life and his military service. Um, you know, I did pick up all this and they were happy to see it go to a good home. And uh, they said they would keep me in contact as they found other things or, you know, if they found other things. But um, I, I didn't actually find out the exact unit he served with in World War II. Um, I, and I'm still kind of reading into it and everything. But um, I was told that, you know, when, when he visited other countries, you know, throughout his whole military service, he would bring back money from different countries. And I've got, I've got even brand, basically brand new with the bank bands still on them from uh, from a lot of money from China, and there's some from uh, Japan, and just look at all this. Like I had all this out the other day, and there's no way I could show you guys everything. It is just amazing, all this money from all over the world. There's German stuff in here. Look at this. Marks there. This stuff's rolled up in there. Some of it's basically like i said about brand new there's just so many countries and different things mixed in there most of this money is from the early 1900s to like the 1940s um it is just absolutely amazing what all is in here if you collect foreign paper money and everything you know you would love this my wife collects old you know old coins and money and stuff and she absolutely loves it now check this out I found this, uh, I believe it's an original World War, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Civil War um, dollar or note. It says $1, you see, July 21st, 1862, Virginia Treasury note. I don't know a whole lot about this older type money, but uh, I do believe it's original because the ink actually bled through on the back side. Um, some of you guys might could tell me more about it. I'm trying to be very careful with it because it is delicate. But um, it looks like it is like a Civil War era note. It's very thin uh, paper or, you know, the type of paper it's printed on. There's also these right here. I'm not sure exactly what they are. It says uh, United States, three cents. Some of you guys, you know, might be getting excited right now, but I'm not exactly sure what all I'm looking at here. But I've got a lot of more researching and studying stuff to do. But um, like I said, money from all over the world, which is really cool. These are pictures of him. Very cool, very awesome. This is actually him right here when he was, I would say he's probably two or three years old. So if he was born in late 1917, this could have been maybe 1919, 1920 maybe. Very cool. And, uh, you know, he was a navigator and a bombardier, at least during World War II he was. And these are blood chits. And they were actually a lot of times sewn on to, I've seen the back of a, a bomber jacket and also maybe on the inside. Basically, if they were shot down, it let the, um, uh, you know, people from the other countries know that, um, that you know, this is, you know, this is, a, you know, an American um, airman who it might not speak their language. 
and you know they could be rewarded for helping him and, and providing him with medical care or food and shelter and returning him to uh, American forces or American allied lines and everything. So these are really cool blood shits here. This one is really old. This one's got to be World War II, as old as it is. But it's very, very awesome. Very cool. I love these. And like I said, that's him right there, which is really cool. Got all these random patches and, you know, like chevrons and stuff. Um, CBI's right here. Um, I'm not sure if he was in the 3rd Army Air Corps or, you know, I'm, I'm really not sure. Again, a lot to keep researching. Some random navy uh, rates or patches there. Look at all these pins and stuff. I'm not even sure exactly what a lot of this is. I'll kind of take my time there and show you guys. I know this 2nd Infantry Division pins there. You got Lieutenant and 2nd Lieutenant. Look at all these wings. Some of you guys are probably about to get excited here. Again, I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. Like, I don't even know what these are. The two, the doubles, and then the triple. I'm not sure what that is. Some of you guys start filling in the comment section for me. But just look at all those. Very, very cool. Awesome wings. And look at this. Here's a, um, a Nazi pen. I assume it's original. You know, guys, I don't have a whole lot of stuff because I just don't know enough about it to be able to determine what's real and what's not because it's, it's highly fake. You know, the people are good at what they do as far as faking stuff. But didn't see any markings on the back. I'm sorry, it's kind of blurry. That weird lighting situation going on here Let's see if it'll focus see, i don't really see anything on the back and see if i can focus on the front here there you go looks original to me i don't know why he would have something that's not so i assume it's original got all kind of you know ribbon bars here and everything Lots of ribbon bars. Now check this out. These are all the medals that were, um, you know, in the grouping so far. I'm not sure if they find anything else. Got a couple, you know, air medals. Two purple hearts here. Now what I'll tell you is none of these medals are named, unfortunately. There's also these three right here, but none of them are named, unfortunately. And as you see, we got three distinguished uh, flying crosses here. And, uh, I mean... I know in you know in the newspaper ad it mentions he was awarded at least one. Now uh, you know that newspaper article again right here was just talking about his World War II service. So maybe you know in in Korea you know in the fifties or you know Vietnam era sixties maybe he was awarded again. I, you know I'm not sure. I don't know why he would have you know three of the same thing unless he was awarded three times or you know I, I really don't I'm not sure about that. Maybe I can find out more. And then two purple hearts here again they're not named. But, um, you know, like it mentioned um, in the newspaper ad art article as well, he received shrapnel in the arm and leg. Now, you know, I don't, again, I don't know if that was the same act, you know, incident, maybe from enemy flak or fire or two separate incidences, because it did mention he flew in 52, um, you know, missions, uh, you know, during World War II. He was a bombardier, navigator, and he was actually on B-25 Mitchells. I should have mentioned that earlier, B-25 Mitchells. So, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm just so excited. I'm just almost speechless, you know. And something else I'll tell you, these three medals right here were in this little box. And they were wrapped in this, like, wax-type paper here. And I didn't know what was in there. I just started unwrapping them and got these three. And they're, the only thing that kind of threw me off is I didn't... There's not a World War II victory medal for some reason. Maybe it's, Maybe I'll end up with it later on as they find more things and contact me. I'm not sure. But just kind of random, there wasn't a World War II victory medal in there. But very cool, very awesome. Show you guys some more newspaper random clippings and stuff. I guess he kept them for a particular purpose. Got this, um, what's the name on it here? This uh, Reserve Aircraft Observer Training Program. Got a book here, Field Manual from 1944. Um, there's a photo of him again right there. And then this was pretty cool. This is him right here on the far right. We're sitting on some wings there here him and three i guess three other officers here's another photo here and uh he's actually standing here the very first man standing on the left that's him i'm not sure the unit he's with i was hoping it would have had something down here but it doesn't but a really cool photo there not sure who this is i don't know if maybe it's one of his children or something it doesn't look like him to me as a baby i doubt it but 
Um, really cool book here on World War One. This came out in 1934. Just pictures and information about World War One. You got pictures of the Taj Mahal right here. This other little, um, I'm not sure what this thing is, but used for, you know, maybe navigating or, um, you know, latitude, longitude, uh, you know, just different information about travel and maybe um, mapping and, and, and planning trips or, or flights or whatever. A lot of paperwork here. Most of this is from the 50s and early 60s. A couple radiograms here, which is really cool. Talks, one of them talks about his promotion. I know he was a lieutenant and then he was a major, but um, just really, really awesome. And um, I'm just so excited to be able to get all this, you know, and keep it together. Again, there's there's photos of him. There's a it's kind of a smaller version that's blown up behind him. Great photo of him here. There's actually three of these. Got his burial flag right here. Something else I was going to show you is check this out. This is a French... I believe I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but I always say chassis pot. French chassis pot, um, you know, bayonet or for the chassis pot rifle. It could be chassis poe, maybe the T-silent. I'm not real sure. But, um, I, you know, I, I've seen these before. I've never owned one before. But um, from my research, it looks like they're a model 1866. And I believe this, you know, the rifle with the bayonet was made from 1866 until 1875 so you know if, if that's if my information is correct then say this was born like um, i'm born made last year of production then it would be at least 147 years old but it could be up to 156 years old it does have a p and looks like a 14703 if you can see that again it's you know it's pitted and got some surface rust on it stuff a couple markings right there but Really, really awesome, really cool uh, scabbard. Looks to be in good shape. Again, surface rust and everything. And um, I'm very happy to get that. You know, I love bayonets and stuff. Never owned one of these. And, I, you know, I don't have the rifle for it, but it's still really cool. But, um, so, you know, the couple, they were really nice. And they were really, uh, you know, excited and enthused that someone like me would want to keep it all together. And they, they were... They wanted to find it a good home. They were just, you know, uh, ecstatic, you know, that someone's interested in, you know, in, in giving it a good home and the proper, uh, you know, displaying of it and preserving it and honoring the memory of this uh, this airman, you know, this uh, this soldier, um, you know, veteran, I should say. And so, um, again, I was trying to look up anything I could to find out about his service, but, you know, I always write down notes and stuff so I can kind of talk about different things kind of give you some information but um again they said they would contact me if they found anything else and um let's see i'm just reading my notes here but anyways like i said i'm you know i'm hoping to find uh, his discharge papers you know his uh, dog tags and any other information about his service so i can put the pieces together and everything and um you know i actually i got all of this this whole grouping the um you know the the lady the seller her and her husband um the lady told me that she said i'll take two hundred dollars for all of it and so you know they were again they were just happy to have it go to um to a good home and you know and she said you know two hundred dollars and you can take it all and uh and give it a good home and everything and so like i said i know i've mentioned it multiple times but they said you know they'd find me um, you know contact me if they found anything else and give me an opportunity to buy the other items and keep it all together and so you know i really appreciate this couple they're very nice and everything and um you know she even said that you know she's thankful that you know stuff like this didn't just get thrown away because um from what they told me is they actually clean out uh, you know, houses and estates from when people uh, pass away, especially. And, uh, you know, they were telling me you wouldn't believe the kind of stuff that they found, you know, people have thrown away in garbage cans or dumpsters. Uh, you know, evidently they've they've dug through garbage cans and dumpsters, pulling stuff out, you know, that people just throw away, even that maybe they don't care for, they don't know, um, you know, how special it is or important, you know, to save it. But, um, you know, so... They just, you know, it, they were just, that's another reason why they were just happy that this is going to a good home because it just bothers them to see stuff like this just thrown away, not cared about or anything at all. 
And so, um, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You know, I enjoy making videos like this. Uh, you know, my collection, new additions, random military topics and everything. And uh, I make these videos, you know, just to keep uh, history alive, to keep interest in the hobby, and to keep people excited and encouraged, uh, you know, to, to make videos or to collect and preserve stuff like this. And um, I thank all of you for watching. God bless all of you. If you have any information at all about some of this stuff, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And, uh, you know, if I do end up getting a, a good amount of other items from this grouping, you know, to add to it as I buy more from them, then maybe I can make a follow-up video uh, in the near future. But anyways, guys, y'all, uh, thank you for all your support. I appreciate you so much. I hope you liked the video, and I'll be getting back to you soon.